Hey guys, welcome back to Spirit of a Handyman. Today I wanted to show you just a quick uh, video on a over the hood range vent that we installed. This one was actually not vented to the exterior. Uh, it was dual function and it was going in somebody's house that didn't have a vent before and they weren't interested in us hooking that up. So a little unconventional, but just wanted to show you how easy it is to hook up. Just a quick unboxing to show you what is all in here. We've got the uh, chimney piece that's uh, individually wrapped. That's two pieces. The uh, charcoal filters, um, some of the mounting hardware, and the flaps for the uh, piping itself. Um, really well secured. This particular one came from Amazon. I'll supply a link down below. And... Um, you know, delivered without any kind of blemish or defect, really well packaged. Um, came with a section of flex hose um, that goes inside the chimney, but otherwise everything comes with this blue saran wrap on it, except the very front. Um, and that's just to protect it from fingerprints and smudges while you're installing it. So I'll show you how we did it. We put this thing between two cabinets. Um, this is a 30 inch wide. And uh, we had one two by four frame to screw into, but we didn't have two. So it came with this mounting bracket and it's got three places to, uh, to put screw holes in. What I didn't wanna do though, we have a mounting bracket here on the left. We didn't have one on the right and I didn't wanna rely on drywall mollies. So what we ended up doing is we put three screws in, one here at the top of the unit and another one down here at the bottom, and it ended up being pretty sturdy. If you if you wiggle it up and down, it does have some play. That's just the way it's designed. It's the material itself. But you can see here, like I'm, I'm giving it a pretty good flex, and uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, we went ahead and screwed on these charcoal filters. That's super easy to do. Um, they are a bit on the noisy side, so if you want a really quiet unit, maybe take those off. Otherwise, um, checking for level and then putting a line up here. We used a laser level just to know where to mount that top bracket. And then the chimney is super easy. It's two pieces that connect together. Um, one sits on top of the unit. The other one uh, kind of attaches with a little clamp to that uh, little mounting bracket that we screwed on to the top of the wall. You just have to kind of um, push it up and then like uh, bring it down on top of the two little clips and then there's a couple little set screws that go in the side and then the chimney's on so it's really as simple as find your height make sure it's level um, plug it in uh, it's as simple as that and then put this chimney piece on and the uh, final product is great it's got you know, light three speeds here. And um, I would definitely, I mean, you know, one hour to install if you're by yourself, 30 minutes if you got a buddy. So uh, I know this video is deceptively only four minutes long, but um, pretty easy to do. I hope that this video empowers the spirit of a handyman inside you that you feel like you can go tackle something like this as well. Uh, pretty easy task uh, for the average DIYer. So go out and buy yourself an over the hood range and hook it up folks. In the meantime, click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates from Spirit He's of a Handyman. Got the spirit of a handyman.